Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, back with uh, the Paladins video. Hope you're all doing well. We're playing some Sky Zero, one of my favorite setups of all time. Even though it isn't perfect, I do really like it. Speed, self fuel, cooldown reduction. The reason I say it isn't perfect though is because you can't really run more reset just because there isn't space for it. I'd rather have the speed. I have a variant that is less speed focused and a little bit leveled differently, but Emergency Exit is also really important level one. She just has too many good cards, which isn't really the case for most champions. But don't get me wrong, there are a few that are kind of dead and don't really see any playing. Could maybe be reworked or buffed, but I don't think she necessarily needs it. She's got more than enough good options i would like to run ammo consumption reduction or whatever you could simplify that as because that feels like really long of a way to describe it or reload speed and other cards but yeah no space for it it's a sky video you know what you're getting into but yeah i haven't really played her enough to know what it's like after all the changes and everything and also after the nerfs and stuff probably gonna be focused around debilitate today because i haven't played that in a minute on the channel swing dagger in preparation i think i did videos on anyway there you go there are the teams for game one on sort of Sentry and peak debilitate definitely seems like the play here we've got an omen ray octavia and then an ash versus a lurth fernando uh, willow Ceres, and drogos drogos scares me a little bit Ceres can also be really really annoying to get rid of but uh, yeah, speed setup should help, especially with the map. I don't know if I've actually played with this skin before ever, let alone on the channel. It's like the recut, it's not really a recut. It feels like a very old style Paladin skin. I can't remember what it's actually even called, but getting the server somewhere on the bottom left. We're going to invis really early, but also the second sort of third, you know, focus for this is a max speed sky. We're going to poison bot there and get some ticks on it. The damage at range is just horrendous, but we got her into the invis. Uh, throw that down, burst through the willow, maybe. Poison bots there, land those. I don't know. I'm a little bit scared. We're going to just throw that back there, finish her off, trying to keep quarter eyes on her a little bit. Just avoid the willow, trying to get close to this Ceres. There's shots, headshots. Are we going to be able to go through a fast enough? There we go. That worked. I don't know why she's standing still when she's healing and stuff, but. We got rid of the healer, that's my job, but there's two of them, I can't really get rid of the two of them playing in the middle, but we're playing Flank Sky with a focus on speed and a, yeah, normal sort of standard stuff. There's Poison Bolt on, let's get rid of the Willow first actually, because she's kind of scary, throw the Q down. Without the speed, you are so slow on Sky, I can't imagine playing it without the speed buff just in there, it feels so much different. Poison Bolt on the Fernando, which should be kind of the focus, even though we're going for Debilitate, and it works well versus anybody, hitting the Fernando is probably the focus, right? Do the there at the back, push him in, I don't know if that's the right play, but I feel like it kind of works. Can he block that with the shield? No. For some reason, I'm always, like, torn on if Fernando can block stuff or not. I don't want to use the F there as well. I'm dead. Unlucky. Just got a freaking rocket to the noggin. Uh, full nimble. Yeah, we need full speed here. Without the speed, especially on this map, Sky is just really, really different. Get rid of the Willow. There we go. Wait for the Jokers to do the punch thing. The Q is also kind of like a red card, which I do kind of like. Damage on her. When you're super close, the output's kind of crazy. You do always kind of forget how much freaking damage Sky can deal when you're on, like, a healer who hasn't got, like, a crazy amount of health. Like, she's gone for Soul Collector and she's full health. It'd be super annoying. I didn't really do the dance, by the way, but she's actually kind of squishy here, so we kind of shred her. Uh, Willow, what is going on? My tracking there. The frame rate dips there were also horrendous. He's just blasting away. We're going to Q and run round. I'm not really using the invis perfectly well, but it's kind of working. There we go. He's just gone. That's the Earth Ultimate. I'm now revealed. That's a massive count. I never really thought about the fact that, yeah, the Earth Ult completely just uh, counters any sort of invis. Is. Got the Ultimate over. He can't block that. I don't know why he keeps trying to. There's 2k to his head, and the shield's also cleared. It gives me just a free shield clear on him. A poison Bolt's just missed entirely. Big tick damage on her. There's a Q. I say big. That wasn't really that much. There goes the Drogos. Fernando is kind of annoying with it. When we tick him, we deal really good damage, but yeah, he's not really doing too much to me either. He's not particularly like outputting on me, so it's kind of fine. She's gone. Uh, he's out too. Sure. Ceres is the only one left. Just over here, slagging around. Uh, poison Bolts, and then the Q. I don't know if I even landed those or not. These servers really are fried in this one. Amber Amber Dextrous, Spare Force, Fortress Breaker. Yeah, reading through them was kind of pointless. She has gone for the one that gives her true healing, which is kind of the only unique thing here. Uh, Willow is probably the most oblivious character I've seen in a game in a minute. Flying to the Ceres, but I guess the Illuminate's kind of working in my favor here, so we can track her. Sure. That's really weird. Never even thought about the fact that, yeah, you can kind of deal with Ceres better. Even though she can see you now, uh, you can also see her, which is kind of strange. I don't know what these moves are. Uh, poison Bolts on him for nothing. The cooldowns feel so low here, just because we're going first full Cronus and stuff. Jogas is trying to. Should have definitely let him get that off so that I could get the extra damage and stuff. Poison Bolts there doing work. Don't even know what I'm saying. I was trying to say that I should have let him go for the ultimate so that we can put it on 30%. Uh, yeah. Okay. Poison Bolts on the Ceres. Somehow I killed the Lith there with that ultimate. That was just really, really weird. self heal Absolutely massive. Jogas going for the ultimate again. Poison Bolts on the Fernando. His reaction time's actually pretty damn good. And more Poison Bolts on him. Can we get him stacked? There's the F. Don't feel like I'm playing insanely well. I'm just trying to be as annoying as possible and it's kind of working out. So I'm going to just throw the Q. F. We'll go around a bit. They've got the reveal anyway. I'm going to try and just stay on the side here because I know this angle is super annoying. Uh, yeah, that's an Octavia. Oh, that's uh, Fernando who's nearly gone. That's a Ceres. Oh, okay, am I dead to that? Yeah, definitely. That was actually kind of a massive ultimate, but just kind of locked in doing my own thing. Even without the speed buff here, we're just really, really fast. When I throw the Q down, we just go into like hyper speed. That's uh, Ash alt combined with uh, another ultimate. We'll throw our ultimate there. That should close off the game, right? We're going to push here on the Ceres. I missed the poison bots. My accuracy is just completely cooked, but victory. Just a bit of a weird game there. Eight minute, really good showcase for Sky, but no one was really paying too much attention to me unless I was directly hitting them. 12 3, 75k. Kind of surprised we have highest damage because we had like an omen and stuff and I wasn't really fighting the Fernando very much I was specifically kind of avoiding him and going after the other champions so 75k I'm really happy with the team overall did really well props to these guys are playing the point a ton specifically the Ash so they were having a really hard time in that one although overall they were playing fine the Fernando was doing his job Drogas wasn't really damaging that much but 
I think he might have been DC'd at some point, I'm not sure. Cyrus and Lilith were healing for quite a bit in that one, but I think damage was definitely their issue. We'll jump into a game two and keep it running. Sky felt really quite strong to play there. I really enjoyed the setup. I don't really know what else I can on top of that. The selfie, I could maybe see myself putting a higher level over the speed a bit. I think this time I'll leave it though, one off the poison bolts and one back in to the selfie. So full selfie or full speed and then a little bit less on the cooldowns. I don't feel like I needed it as much as I had it up there. I feel like overall the cooldowns on Sky, especially if you're going for Kronos, are kind of loose. All right, so for game two, Onslaught on Bright March. I feel like I've had a lot of Onslaughts on the Siege maps recently for some reason, but we've got a Barrack, Ceres, level 375 Octavia, maybe we should do a better job than I did in the last video, and a Ying versus Vivian, Damber, and Sati. I don't know why sometimes this breaks, but a debilitate, and then the set. They do have a Ram, so I'm tempted to go for more cooldown damage on the right click, but I also kind of want to see if we can get away with the speed and the self heal, even though the other set might be better, just to see how it deals in a scenario like this. Uh, Kronos, Nimble for sure. I feel like that's just my very standard start for a uh, if you're going to play a little bit more aggressively. Fortify, Soul Collector, Hello High Water, Focusing Lens. Don't think the mine's going to be too annoying. I can see somebody's weapon there through the wall, but I'm a little bit scared specifically um, about the Damber Stun. Don't really know what I'm doing here, but it's kind of behind the Ram. Poison Bolts on him. Sure, big damage. The stun from the Sarah's just absolutely ruining his entire day. That's horrendous. Uh, F, Hello Maeve. I see her. I don't know what I want to do, but she can see me too because my Invis isn't really doing anything for me here. We're going to Q and run. I'm actually just going to hide here for a little second and then try and get the jump on her. Poison Bolts, so those land. Got two of them. She's really low. So is the uh, Vivian, who's also here. There we go. I'm just playing the self your time is here like crazy poison bolts um really just lucky that we got the selfie on the setup hello rom there's an f i'm gonna stand here <laughs> never mind he actually got the knock fair enough i'm not even mad at level when stuff like that happens we hit him with the poison bolts but that's the mine from vivian super annoying if she places them well it's honestly a pain in the ass i actually kind of need to focus clearing them a little bit and i'm going to throw the ultimate kind of at the door a little bit in a bit so maybe they can't juke it super easily that worked out uh, she's hiding we got two i'll take two i don't know who fell off the map there i'm going to chase this vivian maybe let's we'll get rid of the ram yeah i hit him with the poison bolts the damage on him is just crazy with these sort of things debilitate melts him yeah, words. Don't know if I've noticed the nerfs on Sky other than the damage. Maybe being a little bit lower than I always remember it to be. And uh, technically, the speed is kind of crazy here. But the extra speed that you have just from being invis that they changed a while ago, which I think a lot of people forget about, is also really nice. I'm just going to get hit by that and then drop off. That might have killed me, but I wanted to try and get as much damage as possible to maybe clear him. Ying's going for the ultimate. Hello, May. Poison Bolt on her there. Is that going to be enough? Do I even hit her with those? I feel like the Poison Bolt collision sometimes is just a little bit weird. He's going for his movement. He's actually playing wrong quite well here. We're going to jump down. Hello, Sati. She is not gone. I'm going to throw the ultimate. Never mind. They have too many places to hide anyway. Where I died. Drop the ultimate there on the point, run around the side, self heal might keep us up. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Um, Damber? Okay. Do you not have his movement or what? He just sat there and just took all my damage and I start to reload and finish him off. Hello, Sati, you're here on a nothing. Really is the thing Sky is kind of best at is just doing this sort of cheeky move around the entire map and pick up people who are on like no health. If you're playing a well, oh my god, the movement, the amount of speed we have is just kind of insane. Obviously, we're going for like the setup that maxes it. I can't believe I can't finish off this Damber. Death Hand's kind of clutch, but uh, yeah, having built in just extra speed by being in an invis is really nice for it. Not that many characters even have uh, invises and stuff. And I feel like, you know, people having built in Illuminate is kind of a fair trade off and stuff, but it makes Sky just kind of zoom around even though she's not movement focused whatsoever she does play like she's got movement because it feels like your cue sometimes is just a dash with how much speed it gives you as you're sort of seeing here hopefully i just feel like i'm zooming everywhere i love it it's great don't change it please <laughs> hello mave there's a jump scare uh sure i don't know why the mount is so scuffed with that one specifically i'm dead here by the way they're all just standing there. I guess Octavia went for the ultimate. That should get some good damage. Drop the ultimate, pop the F. Are we going to get anybody with that? No, hello, Dan, but he's really far forward. The arm section in this is so scattered. I feel like Death Hands 2 is such a silly thing to buy on Sky, but it does kind of work. Thought that was a Ceres ultimate, but that was a different effect. I'm not even really sure what that was. Self heal a little bit. I don't know where that Maeve went. She's just down here. Finish her off. The tracking there was actually not too bad, but I'm trying to specifically target the run with the right click, at least, just because our DPS on it is kind of crazy. And it'll make our stat look kind of nice, but uh, yeah, he should be kind of free, assuming I land the poison bolts on him and steal even a little bit of damage. Dan went for the ult, but he didn't get it off. Uh, did she see me go around? She, no, I'm still here, right? There's poison bolts. I missed him. I think she stood it anyway. Death Hands 2 does feel really nice for Sky, but you don't need it. You're probably better off going for other items. That mine is actually really annoying. There's the mine. Again, super goddamn annoying. So I'm specifically trying to position myself in a way where they can't really play around me too well. I'm going to just drop the ultimate here in this super enclosed space. Really, really bad play, but uh, maybe it would have caught somebody. It didn't. Uh, stand in the self heal. What am I doing? I feel like I'm playing Sky so jank for no reason. Hello, Ram. See what I mean? If I just stay in weird places, we catch people off guard and we get free kills. Don't know what I'm doing. Poison bolts on the Ram straight out of spawn. This is just mean. Like, I'm just being a bit of a dick here with Sky. It's kind of funny, though. There's poison bolts. That even hit? I don't know. I'm in their backline for no reason. Hello, Sati. Do we poison bolt and get rid of her? Sure. My aim is so not smooth. Just kind of distracting the damper while the team fights on the point. I think this is worth doing. He's going for the ultimate. Am I still in the invis? Did he see me? I guess he did at the end. There's a Q. Let's just run away. Let's just zoom. Can I get over the edge before I die? 
I guess we're fine. Back on the point. Sure, Ram poison bolts for him. I feel like he just doesn't get cleared if I'm not hitting him with damage. The team, even though they're sort of on their own here dealing with him and I'm like taking care of the damn, but they're not really hitting him enough to clear him. So I guess it's kind of my job to help out with that at least a little bit. Poison bolts on the Vivian to those land. Sort of uh, damage here on him. Yeah, our ultimate gen has been kind of crazy just because of our damage here. I'm going to just drop that there. That should do its job. But we did kind of zone him a bit. Poison bolts on the Ram again. More damage. I'm trying not to focus him too much other than with the right click because I can't really get to the rest of them anyway. Uh, somebody going around. I don't know why that stun didn't deal anything there. Hello, Vivian. She's got her ultimate up and her shield too. I'm scared. Damber, can we clear him? Nope, I'm just trying to move. I guess we're fine. Just about got caught out. I got kind of stuck on the door bit, weird. Yeah, more Chronos, more armor blading. Definitely like the fact that I've played her very differently in this game than I did in game one, because like I said at the start, I'm trying to do multiple things in this video and it kind of worked out. I did Movement Sky and Flank Sky way more in that game than I did in the first one. And uh, yeah, have way more fun with that way of playing it. The speed is so much fun. And you really do kind of play it on your own a lot of the time with Sky. You don't really have to rely on your healer because you've got the self heal. Even though she doesn't do the best at certain things, in the fights where she does well, she feels fantastic to play. Even though she's not in the best position she's ever been in, 14, 6, 93k. Yeah, super happy with how she plays. Even though there is definitely room for improvement. Yeah, she's still really good fun. Does the thing she's trying to do pretty effectively, although not insanely so, I would say. She's definitely not overpowered. I feel like you'd have a hard time arguing that. Overall, as a team, we did all right. A bit jank, but yeah, it worked out in the end. Shouts out there too, that is, their Vivian and also their Dan Bobby sees this later. We dealt with him all right. His stun wasn't that annoying, but I didn't really go after him as much as I probably should have, but it wasn't clear him that much. I'm saying we both had a bit of a hard time with each other, I would say. The Vivian, star of the show, I would say. She was really annoying. The Sati did all right. Maeve did all right. She was also kind of annoying and uh, Ron played the point he did his job. I'm kind of surprised we won it by as much as we did there. I don't really know what else I could add here at the end. This has been pretty much exactly what I wanted to get from a Sky video. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I feel like I showed it off pretty well. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments if you think they should change anything for where she is at the moment. So that is where I'm going to cut it. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you want to see me next. I appreciate you staying the way to the end. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.